Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day. So if there's something that you guys want us to react to, let us know by dropping the link in the comment section below, and we'll be more than glad to do it a big shout out to the person that suggested this they suggested i react to if you are asking allah for something watch this so without wasting time let's get into the video i love you Allah. i was asked a question about what is the need of supplicating or making dua to Allah, calling out to Allah for something you know is not gonna happen. Well, let me give you a few examples. Number one, they say, if a person is terminally ill and you're busy asking Allah to cure them, what's the point? Well, there is a very great point. Remember, Allah Almighty is the creator. He alone knows the future. And he has created us in such a way that he wants us to worship him. We are believers. We believe in the hereafter. When you call out to Allah, call out to him with conviction and know that he hears you. Number one, definitely hears you. There's no way that he has not heard you. But whether or not he will give you exactly what you've asked for, that is in his hands. He will give you what is best for you. So, when you ask him for something and yes, you have conviction within your heart that he is all able, all capable, even if you see people deteriorating last minute, something can turn around. And this is why there are millions of examples on earth of people who have been terminally ill. They've been told that you only have two weeks. They've been given a time frame by the experts in the medical field, but they are still living today. Years later, subhanAllah, there are millions of examples. What was that? That was Allah Almighty, the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Allah loves it when you call out to Him with conviction and have hope in Him because having hope itself is an act of worship that will be rewarded handsomely in this world and the next. If you are terminally ill and you're asking Allah to grant you cure and you deteriorating as the days pass, you need to know Allah will have in store as a result of the hope you had, the supplications you made, and as a result of the patience that you bore, Allah will grant you paradise. This is something unique and amazing. So if you are asking Allah for something, you need to know He either gives you what you want, as you want, when you want, immediately, or He delays it for you and gives you something later on either in this world or in the next and sometimes he replaces it for you with something he knows is better for you you desperately want something he says no i know this is not good for you you don't know the future so because i love you so much and i care for you so much i'm going to replace it with something even better and you need to know at times allah keeps in store for you something amazing in the hereafter something amazing and you see such a big reward just because you kept praying to allah what's this reward for what did i do allah says well you kept praying to us we did not give you what you wanted we heard you but we kept it for you for the hereafter in this magnificent way then also sometimes allah subhanahu wa ta'ala causes a different type of harm that may have been coming in your direction to be diverted as a result of a prayer you made supplication for something else in totality that's the mercy of allah sometimes he blesses you in a million other ways because of a dua you made because of the love the hope the conviction the persistence and the continuation that was something allah loved so much you continued even though you were getting worse you know, you continued asking Allah for a job, for a spouse, for children, for uh, wealth, for sustenance, for whatever it may have been, for good health. 
And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala watched you. He knew, he heard all the time. As you repeated it, he gave you more blessings from a totally different angle. And at times, some of what you have that you haven't even thought of is a result of blessings that you achieved because of a dua or a supplication you made that you did not get exactly as you wanted. What a great blessing of Allah. So my brothers and sisters, similarly, another example that was given was the coronavirus. People are saying, why should I keep calling out to Allah to, uh, you know, to end this as soon as possible when I know that it's not going to end? How do you know it's not going to end? It could end as abruptly as it started, subhanAllah. And yes, experts might say whatever, but imagine bingo, suddenly, I mean, you know what I mean? It's just something that is a flash. If medication is found, something is found, that's in the hands of Allah. We have to try, we have to continue looking, searching, researching, scientifically checking things and trying to find responses and Allah will guide. Allah guides the doctors, Allah guides the experts to, to find something. And sometimes it's under our noses and we don't even know. So keep praying, keep asking. And like I said, if Allah has not given it to us, you've lost nothing. In fact, you've only gained. So keep calling out to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Similarly, world peace. Some people say that because the world is in disarray and we know there's not going to be peace, why should we keep praying for peace? Well, you better pray for peace because through that prayer, Allah will grant you inner peace yourself, your family members, perhaps others around you. Allah will give you a different type of peace. Allah will grant you peace in the hereafter as a result of those supplications you made. So when I'm busy looking for something, at times I'm given other things that I need even more desperately that I didn't realize. And it was all a result of a dua that you made. So keep calling out to Allah with hope and conviction, no matter how much uh, the world has told you to lose that hope. Having hope in Allah itself is an act of worship, calling out to him, convinced that he is the owner of cure. That's what it is. But at the same time, my brothers and sisters, remember, we must prepare for the worst case scenarios all the time. Be prepared for the worst case scenarios and hope for the best. And Allah will bless you in every single way أقول قولي هذا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I love the entire message content in this video. Sometimes we've prayed, prayed for two years, we're not getting any results and we feel like giving up. It's not about um, for how, how long it's been that we've been praying for, it's how consistent we are. It's, it's about the hope we have, it's about the faith we have that God can actually reward us with whatever we're praying for. There's actually people that can testify in this world that they prayed for something for over 10 years, over 15 years. God only granted it to them after that many years, 15 years, 20 years. Sometimes we're not ready for what we're praying for. So God gives us, um, God gives us to us when we're ready to handle whatever we're praying for. Sometimes we're looking for work, it's not happening, it's not yet our time, our time is going to come and we're going to get those jobs. Sometimes we want um, to have children, we're not having children, perhaps it's just not our time, our time is still going to come. We have to be patient, we have to have faith, we have to just continue submitting ourselves to God. Sometimes we're sick, sometimes our loved ones are sick, we pray for them but we end up losing them. Sometimes I, I feel like all these things, no matter what we may go through, the downs, the highs, doesn't matter what, is to teach us something. You're not getting something that you're asking for. Maybe learn the lesson or maybe there's just always a lesson behind everything. Whatever you're going through, it may not be bad, but you're just not getting what you want. Look into life. Look at it from a different angle. Maybe you learn something from it, then you get what you 
you're praying for or what you want sometimes our prayers are not answered but then we get something even better than we prayed for have you ever prayed for something something basic but you get something extremely um wonderful something beyond your expectations i mean that's what god does you see the little pictures but he sees the big picture otherwise let me know what you guys think make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video